Hi everyone, welcome back. It's the Bent Knitter. Hi. So this week we're going to go into a review. Uh, the past couple of weeks I've been talking about this quite interesting find that I got at Michael's actually. Uh, it's called Red Hard. It's a wrap. Um, I'll put all the a description in the link of all the yarn just in case anyone's interested. Um, a little picture. It's actually color change yarn. Um, or I should actually kind of use that term loosely. So it's just basically one skin of yarn that's multiple colors. Now, I know before last week, I believe last week, I said I was going to do a scarf with a hood on it, but I realized that this has way too much yarn for the patterns that I was using. So I got a pattern, got like halfway done, I was like, wow, I'm going to have so much yarn left over, and normally, for all the projects, wouldn't be a big deal, but I wanted to have something done to use the entire skein so I could give a good review of it. Um, so, for one skein, it has 1,100 yards, or 1,006 and 6 meters of yarn, which is quite a bit. Uh, usually, for me, small blankets around 1,200 yards. So, uh, again, a lot of yarn for one skein. And it wasn't that expensive. It was 8 to $10, if I remember correctly. Again, put it all in the description below for you. So, I haven't finished it, but I decided just to do a blanket. I know, I'm sorry about the scarf. I, I swear I'm going to do it with some other yarn. God knows I have enough of it. So, it goes from kind of light blue to kind of like teal. Um, to a dark blue, so I still have a little bit left, obviously, of the dark blue. And as you can see, it doesn't really fade from one color into the next. Let me see if I can back up a little bit more. Kind of see through. Um, it just kind of jumps from one color to another. Now, this is actually kind of common with this kind of mass-produced kind of yarn, where they just kind of resets from one color to the next. Uh, we've seen it a couple of times with a couple of other yarn, color changing yarn that we I've gotten from Michaels, from other kind of big name stores, which is again very cool, very interesting. Um, I kind of kind of helps with the pattern in case you're in case that's what you want from your yarn instead of something fading from one color to another. What I found interesting, and I'm probably gonna put pictures of it like right here. Um, was when they're changing colors, it's not actually one continuous strand. It actually, they tie it off. Um, again, um, I believe I have two pictures that I can put, like, right here. Ooh, Editor Jason put it right here. Um, now, normally, this isn't a huge deal, but my only little minor concern is, <coughs> hopefully, they don't untie in the middle of your work. I kind of just kept knitting and kind of hid it. It's very easy to head within, you know, stitches, depending on what kind of pattern that you're doing. You know, it's just doing stock knife stitch, so it's very easy to kind of hide on the wrong side. So I, the that's my only little kind of con of this type of yarn, is that they do just kind of um, tie it off. So I'm sure, considering it's probably done by a machine, it's pretty sturdy knot, pretty, you know, tightly knotted, but it seems a little odd. But otherwise... Really good yarn, lots of yarn for the type of, for the amount of money that you're using. Um, if you like kind of this um, super fine yarn, definitely check it out. Again, I got it at Michael's. I was not expecting to find this at Michael's because usually they don't have um, color change yarn. They have multicolored yarn. A little bit of a difference might be getting, you know, splitting hairs, but um, they don't have where it goes one color after another after another. But, interesting find. I like it all together. Um, if you have any comments, um, please let me know. You can yell at me if, you know, you're mad at me that I didn't do a hooded scarf. Anywho, check it out. I like it. Again, uh, I'll put all the info in the description below in case you're interested. If you have it, see any other yarn that I should review or take a look at, let me know and I'll be able to check it out and get some so I can do a product review of it. I'll see you next time. Bye!